This video is all about my favorite print-on-demand product, and that is print-on-demand hats. Now, I've actually made more money selling other products like t-shirts, but hats will always have a warm place in my heart. I'm gonna explain why I like selling them so much in this video, and I'm gonna show you some of my sales figures so that, hey, you might get excited about selling some hats. So, let's get to it. I've made over six figures profit selling print-on-demand hats. In this video, I wanna talk about how I did it and show you some of my sales figures to inspire you. So to get started, let's start with sales. I know numbers get people excited about things. So I'm gonna show you my biggest success story in terms of a single day selling print-on-demand hats through Printful. Back in August of 2018, so we're going back years, okay? This is how I got my initial exposure to even sell print-on-demand hats. It started because basically I was one of the first, if not the first person to a big trend so early that I didn't even know if it was really gonna become a trend. But a celebrity was wearing a hat that had some text on it. And I said, oh man, I'm gonna go list that on a t-shirt because all I knew was selling t-shirts back then. I had never sold a print on demand hat. I had never tried to, I didn't even know it was possible. Fortunately, I went to the gym got the blood flowing, got some some more blood to my brain and realized, dummy, it's a hat. Sell it on a hat, find a way. Fortunately, I was using Printful already to Amazon Seller Central and Printful to Etsy. So I took the design. I already had it listed on shirts, listed on some hats. And honestly, almost nothing happened. I was so early that <laughs> it took another day or two for people to really catch on. But by the time they caught on, I mean, look at that bar of sales. <laughs> absolutely insane in a single day 156 orders and on etsy alone four thousand four hundred fifty three dollars in revenue that was just etsy keep in mind i was selling it on amazon as well and on ebay at the time so it was a oh, just such a nice time to be a print on demand seller and those types of experiences can be addictive right so yeah i mean it'll get you if you're kind of on the front on the fence on the fringe about print on demand something like that is definitely going to get you sucked in as if i wasn't already convinced i mean you can go back to my income reports uh i was doing pretty well in like my third or fourth month with print on demand when i had my first thousand dollar profit month in uh, june i believe of 2017 but anyways just wanted to shout this out i love the memories i love memory lane so i scaled that out from that moment on i just continuously pushed more and more hats to places like Amazon and Etsy. Of course, there's other marketplaces as well, but those are my big two. I wanted to show you that basically I scaled this up. I mean, the more products and as I say, online real estate you occupy, the more money you tend to make. So I was to the point where, what is the date range here? Uh, this was, I believe 2022, okay? From, it looks like April to November, I made 2,347 orders. The costs were 45 grand. By the way, you know, if you have a good rewards credit card, those points add up, just saying. And profits were $38,576 less the marketplace fees. So you need to subtract Amazon fees, subtract Etsy fees, et cetera. Don't want to mislead you, okay? But I did that in a six month span, and that was regular for me. One thing I wanted to point out though, you see that arrow in that drop off? This is not Printful's fault, this is Amazon's fault. <laughs> they started requiring additional attributes for a lot of the hats that I was selling that I did not have filled out, okay? Really to no fault of my own either. It was just Amazon abruptly made this change overnight and you literally got to watch my, my orders fall off a cliff and I've been recovering ever since. Honestly, I just wanted to show you guys that I believe in this so much that when I had basically 100,000 listings suppressed in Seller Central, I just rebuilt, you know what I mean? I continually believe that I can. if I've done it once, I can do it again. And this is my last six months. So this looks like 38,500 profit in six months to 16,000 profit in the last six months. You know what? It's, yeah, it's a little sad, right? Nobody likes seeing their profits slashed in half to no fault of their own. But I'm just showing you that I still believe in this, right? I'm still doing a video talking about it right now. I'm not doing this to waste your time or mine, right? Selling hats through Printful on places like Amazon, on places like Etsy, on places like eBay, Walmart, etc., still works. I wanna show you this. I mean, obviously too, it's a lot easier to do when you have a, a schedule that's a little bit more forgiving than my current schedule. As you guys know, I'm a one-man team. I do spread myself thin, but also no excuses. I'm still out here getting it. So let's talk about the costs, all right? When you sell embroidered hats on Printful, by the way, they're embroidered, 
which is a value add, a lot of customers are going to appreciate that and be willing to pay more, okay? If you use the text tool to add your design, and by the way, of course, a text tool means you're adding text, okay? But the digitization fee for embroidery when it sells is gonna be $3.95. You pay it once, then you don't pay it again, it's a one-time fee. So if your hat sells 500 times, you're only gonna pay it one time that first time. If you have custom designs, okay, and you're not using Printful's text tool, which is literally 100% of my hats, by the way, I, I don't know if I've ever used the text tool, probably should, save some money, but you pay $6.50 for the digitization of your design. So I wanted to be clear about that, that will cut into your profits, but it's only a one-time fee. One thing to note too, we talked about selling on multiple platforms. After you make a sale of a design, if you're not selling it on all of the major platforms, you've already paid the $6.50 digitization fee. Why don't you push it now to all the other platforms and more hats too. There's different hats you can sell on in Printful. I'm gonna cover that for you. By the way, when it's digitized, you can actually see the digitization. When you look at your designs in Printful, you'll see this little uh, green box and it'll say like flat, um, if you've paid for other uh, digitization for embroidery types like the 3D puff, you'll see that as well. Speaking of design, let's talk about design. I have a very quick tip, but no joke. Like, it's a big tip. If you have any ambition at all whatsoever to sell print-on-demand hats, remember this one. If you want to sell a design like this, all right? Simple, text-based. Let's say we turn off the background layer, we export it as a PNG. This is not gonna be optimal for selling hats. Let me show you what I would change uh, if you wanna sell this style of a design. All you need to do is flatten the layer and then literally trim all of the extra space so that it looks like this. If you do it this way, it will always fill the uh, area of the hat that can be embroidered perfectly, whether it's the height first or the width first, but it'll max it out. When you do this also, um, you won't get billed the digitization fee again. If you were to export it like this and you have to constantly resize it smaller, bigger, move it left, right, etc., you might get rebuilt the digitization fee because it's essentially changing how it's going to be embroidered on the finished product. So just remember that. Trim the extra space, then export the PNG. Thank me later, all right? You learn, everybody learns this one the hard way, but you guys just got to skip that. All right, let's talk about my favorite hats available in Printful. They actually keep expanding. This is what's so cool about Printful. They're expanding their catalog of all products, but especially hats. I mean, when I started, there wasn't that many. Now there's a ton of different options. Uh, and each hat also has different variations. Like this is my personal favorite. If I had to choose one hat, it is the Yupong 6245CM, the classic dad cap. I sell the most of this. You can even see it's tagged bestseller. Uh, I have Printful Growth. I've done a video on Printful Growth and Printful Business. If you guys missed it, I'll put it in the YouTube cards right here. But you can essentially lock in discounts and increase your margins, right? You pay, you pay less to Printful, that's more profit that you keep. When I'm pricing my products, I typically make at least $10 per sale, which is a lot for print on demand. But again, like if you just constantly keep up, keep uploading, right? Keep doing research, keep designing, keep uploading. There's niches where you might not have much competition, if any. And then also, depending on what you're selling, Amazon may not render a ton of competition in front of your buyer. So the buyer may be able, may be able to save money going with my competitor, but they might, they might not scroll down far enough to see it. You see what I'm saying? And that's Amazon specifically. Like if you go to Etsy, you know they're gonna see a ton of results. And so each marketplace is different. You need to essentially tailor your strategy to each market, all right? This is why I have a course, by the way. <laughs> Shameless plug, link in the description. So the Yupong 6245CM is my favorite. Typically when I upload, it'll be a white foreground and I make available all of the color options that are dark. So I would not make available the white. I don't want, I don't want white text on a white product, um, but all the rest I would pretty much make available. Speaking of my favorite products, uh, this is not my second best seller, whereas I think it's safe to say the dad cap here is my best seller, but not my best seller, but my second favorite product. And that's the Yupong 1501KC Beanie. The reason I like it so much, that price point, <laughs> $12.95 for fulfillment. I personally charge anywhere from $23 to $25. I mean, 
often more towards 25, honestly. Uh, so the profit margin is what gets me excited about selling this beanie. All right, it's not necessarily, I would say a bestseller. You know, you sell more when it's cold out <laughs> in the winter months, but also there's another beanie, the Pom Pom Knit Cap from Sportsman. I also sell a few of these, although it has a higher base cost. I've also sold a ton of trucker caps. Uh, you can see the Yupong 6006 for $13.48 with printful growth sold a lot of these they've also offered a lot more additional colors for those and this is a newer one the foam trucker hat from AutoCap. this one has a massive profit margin all right the base cost for me is twelve dollars and five cents that hat is one of my favorites because you lock in a big profit additionally these are also selling really well for me the distressed dad cap and the vintage cap both from auto and last but not least, the corduroy cap, which if you guys remember, I did an interview with uh, Tom maybe a year ago. I don't even know. I'm losing track of the time here. But he was selling a lot of custom hats on Etsy, and he was making a ton of money. He was saying he had some six-figure profit months, and his biggest seller was the vintage corduroy hat. So take note of that. I do sell these, but I didn't achieve nearly the level of success that he did. Uh, the Yupong, so flat bill, I call them flat bill snapback caps. Yupong 6007 sells a lot for me and it has a healthy price point of $13.48 with printful growth. Printful growth is not even that hard to hit, guys, if you're really consistent. And the auto cap, I actually have two of them right here. These are some of my favorites. If you need to offer multiple um, colors of a hat, I'm trying to show you them both on camera at the same time. There we go. Um, these are really good. If you need to offer a lot of different colors or color combinations, uh, I did sell actually quite a few of these back in the day in 2018 when I had that initial success. You guys have maybe heard me talk about this strategy before, but when you have something that's working and you're doubling down and tripling down, and in that case, I was quadrupling down, um, sometimes you can make separate product listings where you just offer specific color schemes and maybe try to strategically tailor that to specific people if it makes sense to, right? Contextually, um, it's gonna vary from niche to niche. So also I've sold the bucket hat quite a few times, although it is not a bestseller by any stretch, but it does lock in additional sales. Like I said, if you've made a, a sale and gotten your design digitized, why not make it available on more marketplaces and more products? Bucket caps, they do sell. Bucket hats. Um, visors also carry a big price point, you know, $16 base cost. But guys, just mark your products up and maintain your profit. Don't shy away from a product because you don't think someone will buy it for a specific price. You don't know what people are willing to pay. Um, the visors, they do sell. And I think this is the last one, but I just wanted to recommend because I do sell these on occasion, the denim hats and the five panel caps as well. Okay, now guys, if you're excited and ready to go forward and try this, do this. Start with Printful. I'm assuming most of you guys are already on Printful. If you're not, it's free. I'll link it in the description. Then sell on Amazon, sell on Walmart, sell on Etsy, sell on eBay. You can integrate directly with your Printful account to all of those marketplaces. It's often, in most cases, like two clicks. Amazon was the one that used to be a little bit more of a headache. Amazon changed it, so it literally is two clicks to integrate Printful now. Uh, Walmart's probably the biggest headache these days, but I have a tutorial video on that. And of course, I have my full print on demand course, which walks you through everything step by step. I'm hand holding you the whole way. You can post comments. You can reach out directly to me, get my help. Guys, linked in the description. It pays for itself if you use it. It can pay for itself just through selling hats. <laughs> we didn't even get into the other print on demand product types. So I wanted to plug that. It is linked below. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the uh, comment section. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another new video. Let's <laughs> go.